Are you in good shape? Yes, yes. Knee, knee's doing good. I'm doing good. Just taking it day by day for so far. Are you going to be ready for the opener? Uh, yeah, plan so. Plan to be. Plan to be. Just taking it day by day and just working it out from there. How frustrating was last year? How frustrating was it? Yeah. It was pretty frustrating. It was pretty frustrating. But, I mean, everyone everyone came together and it worked their worked their tails off. So it was definitely definitely good. Definitely good. And then going to the Big Ten Championship, we're coming this year, we're going to win more. What did you learn last year just kind of seeing football from a different vantage point? I mean, just – Every snap, I mean, can't take it for granted. Just, just me being hurt, just me sitting back on the sideline, it made me realize just can't take these snaps for granted. You gotta continue, put your best foot forward, and just keep working. Just keep working, and just put your head head down, and keep grinding. How What's, they, how, 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 how are they gonna utilize your skill set? I mean, just use me in the run game, uh, continue block, and then they're also use me in the passing game just as, just as much. So. I mean, I just gotta get healthy, and th things will work out just just good with uh, Coach Harrell and Coach Deggy. They got a plan for me, so just I'll just keep working hard, and I, I know I know they got plans for me, so I'll just do whatever I need to do in the offense. What's the recovery process look like specifically during camp? Like, have they been kind of ramping you up in your full go now, or? Uh, yeah, I'm, I've just been uh, I've been um, doing rehab in the morning, stretching in the morning, that kind of stuff, and then. When I come out here, I take things not not lighter necessarily, but I would not do as much contact kind of deal. So, but other than that, yeah, I'm just damn near the same same thing as everyone else. Paul talked about this group and just the different skills that everybody has. How does that collectively as a group kind of make you guys stronger? Where you have you know the blocking, the route runners, the you know the pass catchers. For sure. I mean, we we really all just feed off each other. We all feed off each other, and we all. We all have strengths and weaknesses, and we just get each other better on on what we're missing, and what what we need to get better, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's good that we like other guys have advantages, and some guys have disadvantages, and we just learn off and build off each other. You're going into your fifth year. Kind of, you feel like an old man, and kind of reflect on your, your journey since you got here in 2019. Uh, to be honest, not, time's been flying. Time's been flying. I don't feel like an old man. I, feel like I'm just getting started, just getting started. It, it's been good. It's been good. Just a whole new coaching staff and everything, but everything's been great. Purdue, Purdue's been great to me, so just going to continue to work hard and not let the differences change anything. Just keep my head down and keep working. Have Coach Dig, you a former quarterback as your tight ends coach. How much does that maybe help uh, that he sees the game from, from a quarterback perspective? Yeah, it, it definitely helps a lot. It definitely helps, like, knowing from quarterback standpoint of, like when we're open, when when we're not open, what the quarterback sees from the, from their eyes, all that kind of stuff. So it definitely helps uh, him being a quarterback and telling us tight end tight end wise what we need to do to get open and what the quarterback sees. You and Payne still texting and talking? Yeah, me and Payne text a little bit. I know, I know he's having a tough time tough time in camp. I'm sure it's sure it's a grind, but yeah, he he's loving it. He's loving it for sure. You miss him? Yeah, yeah, I miss him. I miss him. Good dude for sure.